Hello, we are going to take this number four. What is the meaning of this acronym? What does it stand for? We will know now. So this acronym stands for string. This S, this is for string. The P is for pointer. The BRK is break. Okay? And it is a function of the C library that is used to locate the first occurrence of a character from a specific set of characters in a string. It is defined by the, the, the main.header, which is this prototype, the function prototype that is in the main.header. That's what is defined by. So you can see that we are going to use this number four to um, be, be, it will be our, our, our sample main to, to compile the, the, the code, right? So the question says we should use what? We should write a function that search for a string from any of the set of bytes, right? From the, from any of the set of bytes. So the, the underscore string pointer break function locates the first occurrence of uh, occurrence in the string s of any of the bytes in the string accepts okay any of the bytes in the string accepts which is this accept here okay accept return a pointer to to the bytes in x that matches one of the bytes in accept this accept here or none if not such bytes is found if no such byte is found so you need to just so just take the logic as it is written and let's implement it to the code so let's go down the first thing we are going to do we are going to create this file to test to compile okay then we use this body here this code here to test so let's go we'll clear our terminal boom so let's zoom in a little bit, okay? Then you type your number four, right? That's four, yes. So say four dash mean. Let's see. Okay. So you just drop it there. Make sure that you type it. It's very important that you type it. Okay. So after that, just keep the file there, save it there. Then the next important file that we will need. Remember that we have created putka underscore putka dot c on the first uh, tax, and also we have created the main dot header file on the first tax. So make sure that you visit it in case you just stumble into this one. Make sure that you visit the other ones. Okay, now that this is the next thing we are going to do. We get this guy, then we create. Okay, okay, this is what we create. Remember that the remember that it we are going to have a in this code, we are going to have. We are going to have include, we are going to include the standard input output dot h. We are going to have the main header also. Remember, then the, we use the prototype which was given to us. Okay, then we'll put the syntax like so. Okay, just one minute. Let me type it in. So as you can see, this is the include file standard library. This is the doc, the doc, the documentation strings that we, we use. Yes. Okay, this is the this is the function itself that was defined. Okay, it has two arguments: this first one and this one. Okay, and this one where yeah, s is the pointer to a character, which is the string that you want to search, right? Then this point, this accept is the pointer to
to a character which is sets of characters that you want to search for okay the function itself uses two loops okay the first loop iterates through the string and accept set okay i set a set for each character in the string it's check if it is in in the accept set and also you check if it is if it is then it will return a pointer to the character and if it end on the string if it end of the string it will if the end of the string is reached the function will return null so the, this Okay, now the next thing is to check clear your, your okay, the next thing is to compile. Let's see if it will go. Um, right, it went compile very well and Four dots. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay, you can see there. So the next thing you do is to add. Okay. Commit. And add. And you. Picture number four. And you push. That's too much. No, oh, you do. Then you press. Okay, let's see. Okay, no links. Sure to subscribe and like.